whales, though. <laughs> Unless you had a whale campaign. That was uh, Tom. He said, yeah, yeah, you could be a whale, but as Dungeon Master, I would kill you pretty quick. Because <laughs> I don't want to deal with a whale. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is the really Fox. Oh, that was sick. So this was the matchup you, we were watching before the tournament even started. Although the stream was not up at that time, but these guys were playing a lot of friendlies. I was not. And they were going back and forth and back and forth. Oh, bone zone. You're right. It is the bone zone. All the the zone is a substitute. What do you mean? It's not the normal zone. You're right. All right, let's see how they recover here. Oh, oh! I, oh, I thought the Marth was... Wait, that was interesting. It was scary. It was interesting. <laughs> yeah, but... Oh my gosh, what an up smash. It was like, I talked to this with Kelvin, I think, before. Usually when you say that was interesting, it's like a hint that, yeah. that says that was bad. Because if it's interesting, well, I'm that means I know, that you haven't seen I'm it com very much. That's what I do when I commentate, is I would say interesting oh, when yeah. it was actually bad. Yeah. I mean, like, more, more blunt people would say... Would, would say uh, questionable. Oh, okay. Frank would just outright say it's, it's, it's not real. Uh, I bad. normally just ignore it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's plenty of good things that are happening right now. But there's something about commentating yeah. where you wind up picking up part of the bad things. I don't know, man. I'm not a philanthropist. I can't tell you well, why that is. Well, that's probably confirmation bias. I think you're just, like, picking up on things, and some of them happen to be good, and some of them happen to be bad. Yeah. So, uh, I was reading about this uh, study that... Uh, in, in your book? Yeah, in my book. And uh, it was about... Th they were... It was a way... A study where you could win a quick buff. You could you could make a quick buff. So, so, okay, I'm all about this study. Yeah, so they, they have two bowls of jelly beans. Mm -hmm. and. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I told you about this. Wait, did you? No, I don't think so. Um, by the way, I totally messed up the thing I gave you. I went back and reread it and I messed <laughs> it up. But that's, that doesn't really matter. Um, so, two bowls of jelly beans. Yeah, two bowls of jelly beans. One bowl is much bigger and has much more red jelly beans in it. Okay. The other bowl has a lot more jelly beans per percentage-wise. Much less jelly beans in them, but there are more jelly bean, red jelly beans percentage-wise. There are uh, more... Wait, so one... The bigger bowl has there's more, a big bowl and the small bowl. Yeah, and there's the big bowl has more red jelly beans than the small bowl. So the small more, bowl has more proportionally. No, just more. Just more. Okay. You're asking the right questions here. Okay. The small bowl has more, has a higher percentage of jelly beans per jelly bean capita. They found that if you if you blindfold yourself and you picked out a jelly bean and it was a red jelly bean, you'd get a dollar. Oh, sick! I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know people you know which bowl people re reach into more often? The small one? No, they reach into the bigger one. Wait, why? Because people are dumb. Uh, people can people can people can do what like what feels what feels right when you're not really thinking about it. Wait, why don't they, uh, wait, so if you pick out a red jelly bean from either bowl, yeah. But you can only choose one bowl. Yeah. And you just get to pick out do you, is there a limit to the number of bowl jelly yeah, beans? Just, you, you just pull pick out? one out, yeah. Just one yeah. one out. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just going to eat all the jelly beans. <laughs> no, you don't get to eat the jelly bean. You, you know what? You can probably eat the jelly bean that you pick out. I mean, what if you were just like, what if, what if your response, they ask you why afterwards, and you're just like, I don't like red jelly beans. So. <laughs> Not well, well, a lot of people, a lot of, like some people, <laughs> some people like knew that that was the wrong choice, but they did it anyway because they felt like they had better odds. Because I was thinking about this when I was playing bingo on Friday. I was okay. playing bingo on Friday. And, um... It was ten dollars for a bingo sheet, and there were like thirty games. Thirty games of bingo for ten dollars, and like, you'd, if you won, you'd win like five hundred to a thousand bucks. Okay. That sounds really great. Because someone's gonna win. Is there? Any, I don't remember bingo very well. Is there a skill involved in bingo? No, there's not. Yeah, okay. It's like shoots and ladders, right? You cannot be there and, and play the game. It's, yeah, there. You can actually pay more than ten. You can pay twenty dollars for the same amount of bingo. But have a computer do it for you, and you can watch. It's, it's actually pretty fascinating. Okay. Uh, Kelvin and I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it a lot. What uh, seeing seeing it from from that perspective. But anyway, um, 
it feels great because it's like, wow, I'm only paying 10 bucks and I've got all of these chances. Look, for every 30 games, I have six sheets of six bingo sheets. Like one of these, is pro one of these has to have a chance of winning, and then I'm gonna times the amount of money I put in by 50. But there's like 2,000 people there playing bingo. Oh, so yeah. you're not gonna win. Yeah, that's not very good. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a very good game to play. Yeah, it's not. So I went to the poker tables afterwards and I won 60 bucks. Poker's not a good game to play either. Sure it is. If you're better than the people you're playing against, you're... Okay, you, that's fair. And it's not actually that hard to be better than average at poker. Yeah. I would never... I would not I would not enter a tournament like... Uh, I yeah. would not enter a poker tournament because I am not that that's, good. That's my national strat. You <laughs> just walk up to everybody you don't recognize and you money match them. And you <laughs> should definitely make a profit. <laughs> like, you follow... <laughs> What? You're definitely better than the than the average smasher there. Mm -hmm. And if you cut out the outliers that you that you know are better than you, then uh, then you're good. Doesn't matter if you lose some. I was catching Pokemon while I was at the poker tables. Okay. People were making people were making fun of me. People were making fun of me. That's great. Is, that's a way to cheat at poker, right? You can just like you can't you can't be using your phone while you're in a, while you're in a hand, but you can fold and, and catch Pokemon. Oh, okay. So I was just catch Pokemon while I was folded. Wow. I won. Okay, so you can play poker online, right? Yes. What's stopping you from having a, a second computer do the math for you? Do the math? Well, it's not about the math. I mean, it's a it's about the math. Like, pe people have things to calculate to do all of the helpful math for you. Uh huh. But that doesn't make you. That doesn't actually help all that much at poker. Oh, I thought that it did. Because if you make. Well, here's the thing, though. If you. Whatever decision you make. Alright, Aurelian Will's cleaned up really quick. But here's here's the thing. And maybe I, maybe somebody out there is a poker player and they're gonna, they're gonna talk. They're gonna talk crap. But, uh. 